Good Friday morning, Bob Brooks here. Today, I want to do a review on a blog that one of our subscribers asked me to review, and that's Behind MLM. Uh, but before I get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. So it's Friday morning. I'm getting ready to go to work. Fun job. I'm a service manager at an auto dealership. You hear it all. Um, right now, I've got a customer complaining that mice get in her car and behind the dash and want me to fix that. She has a rotor problem, not a car problem but that's what I deal with. She's very angry at us. She wants us to fix it. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but let's get to the topic today. And that, I want to review this behind MLM. There's an anonymous blogger out there and he's anonymous and he does blogs and he does posts about MLM and they're all negative. Uh, he picks companies that are failing or failed and he writes a blog about them and he's very negative on the whole MLM thing. And a couple of things that really bother me about this is I know in his comments I read, in one of the comments he says he stays anonymous because he wants just the facts to speak. But truth be told, if you, were really, if you were really confident about what you put out there, you would put your name on it. And I personally believe MLM is one of the best opportunities for the average person that wants to start a business. Uh, and we're going to cover some of this and why I think that, but I mean, it's inexpensive. It doesn't require a lot of startup. It doesn't require a building and all this other stuff that a normal business takes. And the rewards are exponential. Now, back to his review, he likes to take these companies that he's finding that failed. And now we all know there's a lot of companies that failed. And we talk brick and mortar, there's a lot that failed. Restaurants have a huge failure rate. And so do a lot of people in the MLM. And we can discuss why that is. Uh, it's not the business model itself, because in network marketing, there are lots and lots of successful people who have built successful businesses in MLM. I have close to 100 people in my MLM now, and if MLM didn't work, I wouldn't have those people. It wouldn't work, but it's working. But what does it take? It takes th really three basic things to build your MLM. One is going to take some time. It's going to take work. Uh, it's going to take effort on my part, and it's going to take require learning new skills. Same as a brick and mortar. It takes time, it takes skill, and it takes a whole lot of effort to get it going. The problem you have in MLM, which can give it a bad name, is so many people don't do one of those three. A lot of them don't do any of those three because out of these 100 people I have, I can see their activity. And a lot of them have no activity whatsoever. I have some tell me they're afraid to pick up the phone. That's a skill they have to learn. If I were to tell you, put a million dollars on the table and said, as soon as you start calling people, I'll give this to you, you start calling. The problem is, is, is up here, you have this fear, whatever it may be, and you have to get past it. So we have to learn these skills. Best way to do it is learn, plug in, those type of things. I've done videos about this. But back to our MLM guy. It's easy to find the ones that don't succeed. I would have more faith in that site if he did some of the ones that do succeed because I've been online over 20 years. And I can tell you there are companies that are still out there that started way back when I started and they're still there and they have tons of successful people which tell me they're legitimate and they work. Yes, there are scams out there. Yes, there are people looking for your money. But you have to take the time and research what you're doing. Uh, one of the big things with MLM that cause, that really is wrong, and, I, and I'll admit this is wrong, they approach it from a get-rich-quick type thing, and that's not the truth. Uh, they don't, they're not honest about what it's going to take to do it. So a lot of people get in, they expect to get rich. They don't, then they badmouth it. And when someone's anonymous like this and has a blog and everything is finding all the ones that don't work, it strikes me as they got an axe to grind, that maybe they got hurt in the industry, maybe they tried it and didn't work, maybe it brought up some stuff inside themselves that they just didn't want to overcome because there are things you'll learn about yourself in the network marketing industry. You'll learn a lot of your own shortcomings and decide whether you want to grow through those or quit and stay behind those. Uh, I, ch I, cho I choose to grow through things and keep going. When I first started video, boy, it wasn't easy. But I said, I want to create this business. And, and it's happening. I'm watching it happening. The other problem is a lot of people get network marketing. They get in for the money and not so much to bring value to the marketplace. When a person starts a business, they, they, they should be looking at how am I going to provide value to the marketplace? Because the more value you provide, the more income you'll receive. You have to have a good product. A lot of people, and that's sort of scams come in. Some of these products, are, I mean, they're just not there. Uh, I do Nexus Rewards. The product is cash back. My people love the cash back. I love the cash back. Every time I go to the gas pump, if I'm getting 25, 30 cents a gallon back, I am stoked. Every time I go to the store and get a receipt from the groceries and I take a picture of that receipt and I know I'm getting money back, 
I'm saving money this way by getting cash back and everything. We have a benefits hub that's just incredible. People are saving up to $400 a month. Membership is $21.95. One of the beautiful things about network marketing, your startup can be so minute, miniature, so small. I know the old fashioned MLMs a lot more 500 bucks, but now, I mean, you're talking less than 50 bucks, you can start your own business. And with the cash back, you make more than that a month. It's 21.95 a month. The startup, I, there are a lot of little incidentals, admin fee and that sort of stuff, but it's under 50 bucks. But a monthly, it's 21.95, and you have a business, and you get cash back more than that, so you have a free business and the opportunity to make money. And all it takes is some time, effort, and some skills, share it with other people, and you can build a huge income. Yes, over time. So. I love MLM. I think it is the best business model out there because you are leveraging your efforts with other people. You're basically, and I, I watched a review somebody did and said, you know, MLM is good for the company, not for the people because they use people to sell their products. Well, <laughs> yes. Let's talk McDonald's. The corporate doesn't sell all the burgers. They use people. They get a bunch of people to go out and start a franchise and charge them hundreds of thousands of dollars to start this restaurant so they can make money. Well, the people buying the franchise do it because they make money too. So, And they're bringing value to the marketplace. They provide other jobs for people. They provide food for people on the go. I'm not the biggest fan of McDonald's anymore. I love that Big Mac when I was younger, but not so much anymore. But they do provide value to the community. So if you're going to be in network marketing, you got to think, how am I going to provide value? And if you're not succeeding, you're not providing value. You've got to train your people. You've got to help your people. And it doesn't mean you have to know how to do something. you got to know where the resources are. Guide them, direct them, help them, be there, be available, just be a coach, be a mentor. It's a viable business plan. So this guy who's doing this behind the MLM, it's very easy to find something that failed. It's very easy to trash it. And, it, and then stay anonymous so nobody can debate with you um, and just stay that way. I don't believe in a site. Uh, it's out there. I believe he gets a lot of steam because a lot of people look for a reason they failed rather than looking in the mirror. Uh, I did 20 years of this before I started having success and I finally had to look in the mirror and say, <laughs> you're the problem. When people ask me, why didn't you quit? Well, I'm stubborn, but I was the problem. I had to work through things and learn how to do them. So that's what I got for Friday. It's a short review on it. It's called Behind MLM. I mean, it, he does pick the ones that are failing, so you might find something in there that you've done in the past and said, yeah, I knew that was a scam when I did it. But the truth is, find something you like with a product you like, check out the leadership, and then get started. I mean, Nexus Rewards, we've got great leadership. We've got a lot of people that are succeeding right now. We're really new. We did our pre-launch in November. We did our official launch March 1st, so we're officially launched now, and we are rocking. And we're gonna be here for the long term. And there are a lot of good companies out there, and it is a great way, but you're gonna have to learn. You're gonna have to plug in. You're gonna have to have some time. And if you wanna work with me, we have Power Team 5. We are starting to rock and go. Uh, we are getting tools in your hands so you can have it a little bit easier teaching you how to bring people to the table because network marketing is not about forcing people, not about running around asking people, you, you know, you want to make extra money. It's about sharing a great product with people and building a business. That's all I got for Friday. We'll talk to you later. Bye.